Welcome back to Fab Bottom of Detailing. In this video, we're going to do a review on Rust Oleum's uh, trim and bumper paint. Let's do it. If you've been watching any of my videos on this Jeep that we are revitalizing, we're putting life back into this 06 Jeep that was very, very heavily neglected. Um, you'll notice that this is all faded. This used to all be black. That is really faded, so I'm gonna have to remove this. My wife's moving dirty, so I'm gonna back this thing out. I need to back it up so, my, so the lift gate doesn't hit the garage. And then this, we need to get this painted. This, this is really bad. It's gotta really make this back end of this uh, Jeep look a lot better once it's painted. And I've never used this stuff before. A guy I work with, he's used it, says it works really well. So I hope it works out good for me. I don't know if any of you have heard of it because I hadn't heard of it until recently. But it's good for any plastic trim. Let me just put you back up here. It's good for the plastic trim on cars. Let's see. It says it renews OEM black finishes, restores trim and bumpers. You know, it has a picture of uh, one of those plastic or rubber bumpers like a lot of cars have now a lot of cars have plastic now This needs to have some of the other stuff done, but the stuff that I can't take off I'm not gonna take off and you probably can't even hear me right now over the Jeep. That's good But we're gonna take the two pieces off that we can this video is not gonna be all done tonight I'm gonna have to kind of split this up because I forgot to bring my wiper puller home from work So I have to bring my wiper puller home, but we'll go ahead and get the back off and we'll start uh, uh, rubbing it down to clean it and then we'll put this on and we'll see what this stuff does okay so we got the back trim piece off i'm gonna read the directions even though i'm not spraying it yet it says to prepare the surface using a wax and grease remover from rust oleum i'm going to use uh, rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol as well i'm going to use just regular old isopropyl alcohol and then it says it says for best adhesion to prime it i don't have any primer so it's okay i i might but i'm not sure but it, it doesn't matter um, then it says painting shake can vigorously for one minute after mixing ball begins to rattle shake often during use hold 10 to 12 inches from surface and spray a steady back and forth motion slightly overlapping each stroke keep the can the same distance from the surface keep the can in motion while spraying for best appearance apply two to three light coats a few minutes apart then it has a has a note that says and your feet are in the video <laughs> um, Rust-Oleum trim and bumper paint features an advanced spray system that allows you to spray at any angle, blah, blah, blah. Dry and recoat based on 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which it is not here. It's, uh, it's about 80 right now. 50% uh, relative humidity. Where you are, what's that say? 75. 75% relative humidity, so we're kind of over on both. Allow more time at cooler temperatures, dries the touch in 20 minutes, and you're able to handle within an hour, and it fully cures within 24 hours. And it says you need to put a second coat on within one hour. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe it down with this. Just get a paper towel. Just to make sure there's nothing on here that's not gonna allow it to stick to it. Yeah, it's funny, I ought, to, I ought to show this. That's the original color. That's how much it's faded right there. Because this is actually covered up. There goes my phone again. Steve. Oh, Zulu. I just sent him a text, so he's responding back. He knows what that text was about. There's about a flag, Steve. I'll respond here in a minute. Okay. Looking better already. This is really gonna change the appearance of the, the back of this uh, Jeep because after I cleaned it, all these videos you've watched me clean it, when I got done with the uh, you know polishing and waxing, 
took it outside and how nice it looked and just the bumper just stood out like a sore thumb. So I think we went that night and I bought this paint. For the guy I work with, like I said, he used it on his car and it worked really good. Okay, so I'm gonna give this enough time to completely dry. It's getting close, but it's not there. And then we'll take this to the backyard, my painting booth in the backyard, and we'll start painting on it and see what it looks like. So here's the beautiful view from my backyard. We love it. And I'm hoping it's not too windy back here for you guys. So that's why I pointed you where I got you. The wind is at your back. So hopefully it's not messing the microphone all up. We have already shaken it up like it said to. Let's get this thing started. Hopefully it's not too windy. I might have to go the other direction too because of where these uh, ridges are. And I'm just going light coat for the first coat. I don't want to run it because that would look even worse than faded. Okay, so now I'm going to go around the other side and try to get this. See that right there where it's gray? It's probably going to get all over me. see these edges but I'll do it anyways. And then you hit this front real good. Okay. There's the first coat. It seems to have gone on really really even. This right here is not the paint that's actually in the plastic. It's not runs or anything. I see zero runs went on very easy and there you go we'll let this dry for I don't know we'll give it a good 20 minutes and then we'll put a second coat on it okay it's only been about 15 minutes but it is completely dry to the touch as you can see so let's put a second thin coat on Kind of curious if I can put my Adams BRT on here if it'll affect the paint. I don't I wouldn't think it would. That BRT is an amazing product. Been hear a lot of good stuff about Chemical Guys VRP. In fact, uh, Camaro Time. If you guys aren't aware of who Camaro Time is, uh, he's got a really cool channel. He's got two good, two really nice Camaros. And uh, he did a VRP review the other day on his engine bay, and man, did it look good. It looked really good. For a Camaro, Camaro time. It probably looked better on a Challenger, but I'm just saying. Now, he's a really good guy. You guys need to check his channel out if you haven't. I hate it. it's kind of getting dark out because I'm hard, having a hard time seeing, you know, if I missed anything. And I don't want to go so heavy that I get runs. Back here really doesn't matter. But up here, these ridges really do. I mean, you can cut, I mean, you can see it's not, it's not runs. But you can see the way the plastic, the way it was fading, I guess, the best way I can really put it. But it's still gonna look so much better. All right, I'm gonna shut the camera off and we'll see how long it takes to dry this time. All right, here comes a third and final coat. And then the next time you see it, will be on the vehicle. When I do the, uh, the cowling, I'm gonna maybe show just the first coat and that's it. I don't really need to show myself painting every piece, but.
I'm gonna go across the front one last time. And that's it. Next time you see it, like I said, it'll be on the car. Okay, so the cowling is off. This piece right here is louvered, so I gotta make sure that I spray paint in this way, and to spray paint in this way, and then straight, and then I'll probably flip it upside down and paint along here too, because if I miss just one of these, sorry, that's like a four-wheeler or something. If I miss just one of these, it's gonna stand out like a sore thumb. So we're gonna get to work. Like I said, I'm only gonna show the, man, that's annoying. I'm only gonna show the first court or the, the first coat here. Believe it or not, about an hour ago, it was absolutely pouring down rain here and windy and storming. The sun's out now and beautiful. Indiana. Wait five minutes, the weather will change. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way with it. Hopefully cover it all. And do the same thing down here. I just don't want to go too heavy to where I start running it. This is going to dry quick because it's in the sun. Okay, now we're going to work on this piece here. We're going to go just a nice even first coat. This is probably going to be seen because it's under the hood. But yeah, the wind's kind of killing me. The bumper piece looks really good for the rear bumper. It's on. You guys will see it in a little bit. Um, but I kind of wish I would have sanded it. Looking back, I wish I would have. Okay, so that's the first coat. It's already looking a whole lot better. So I'm gonna finish this and then you guys are gonna see what they look like on the car. Like I said, wait five minutes and the weather will change. It was just pouring down rain and the sun is shining. Pouring down rain, as you can see. Cars are wet. This still has that Adams buttery wax on it. It's been about three weeks, so but I also had griots underneath this. I couldn't tell you if the Adams is actually off of it now or not. Most people say you get three to four weeks out of the max. I'm kicking myself in the butt that I didn't take a picture of both of these before so that I could put a before picture down here in the corner. So I might have to try to put a before video down in the corner for you. Man, his door handles look good. Um, so here you go. I'm gonna show you what they look like. The paint is dry. The wiper arms I did paint. I didn't go crazy on them. I just kind of grinded them down where the rust was. It still doesn't look the greatest, but look at this trim. No longer white ash looking. I mean, it looks really, really good. I just hope it lasts. And the back is the rither. You can really tell the difference. Look at that. Remember before? Hopefully I can put that right down here somewhere. That looks so much better. Now I gotta figure out what to do with these. I know I said I didn't want to do anything with them because it's a cheap car, but I gotta find some way to cover this stuff up. So, there you go. That stuff seems to work good. At least, at least now the first. I mean, the first day of having it on there, it looks good. Who knows how long it lasts with the sun and stuff? But it looks really, really good. Now we're gonna have to move on to this stuff in another video. Well, you saw it firsthand. It does work. Now the question is. Is this any different than just a Rust-Oleum flat black? I have no idea. I mean, it smells like regular old paint to me. I don't know if you could just go buy a 
regular can that's probably cheaper and spray it on there you probably can I don't there might be something in this that makes it last longer I don't know but as far as rust-oleum trim and bumper paint it works really well when I sprayed it on I had no runs and trust me I am NOT the greatest sprayer a lot of stuff I spray I get runs in so I'll admit that firsthand I had no runs it leveled really well I did three coats a piece on each piece so I had three pieces did three coats a piece and still got about probably a little less than half left in the can and I'm hoping it lasts you know as far as the product is concerned applying it and the looks of it I give it two thumbs up but I can't give it two thumbs up on longevity obviously because I have no idea but it kind of it shows it's flat right here looking at it in here let me get you guys close I'll show you looking at it in the garage especially with the light on it here's the cap it is kind of got a little bit of a sheen to it it's a little bit kind of like a I guess I would consider a satin finish which is that's perfectly fine with me it looks really good I'm really really happy with it and it's very easy to use having to take stuff off the car and eh, kind of kind of sucks but it's better than having to mask everything off just to spray paint I was able to remove these pieces on your car you know the bumper may not be able to be able, you may not be able to remove the trim you want to paint so you are gonna to have to mask it off but if you can take your cowling off if you can take whatever piece you're trying to do off then it'll work good now a piece like this right here I don't think I'd ever even attempt it I would I would do a die of some sort or just keep some type of trim protected on it I have plenty of other trim to do on this and that's in another video coming up I am making a lot of videos and I explained before I'm making these videos because me and my wife want to be able to look back and see what we did to this Jeep from start to finish other than the engine and it is coming along so well it looks really really good I'm really happy with it and I'm really happy with this product and I'm glad the guy I work with showed me this on his car that's why I ran out and got a can because I was going to use a die on those pieces and sometimes when you use a die especially on large pieces like that you can't it's hard to get real even so like I said I think I said this earlier my only regret is I wish I would have sanded that piece on the back bumper first. Other than that, I'm happy with it. Looks great. I hope it lasts a long time. If it starts fading after a few months, I will make an update video. If it lasts a year, I'll probably make another update video then. Be awesome to get five years out of this. I don't know if it'll happen because it doesn't really tell you, you know, about how long it should last. But I would think it would last. It's got to last at least a year or two because it is a paint so I guess here in Indiana we get a lot of Sun and it gets pretty hot here and the Sun beats down on black it might fade so I will let you guys know I'll keep you in the loop uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button while you're down there and that little bell right over here so every time I upload upload a video you do get notified and we will see you in the next video